Welcome to Art History with Jackie, Episode 5. Today, we will be talking about Canadian artist Brian Youngin. Youngin is of Danaza and Swiss ancestry, and he currently lives in the North Okanagan in British Columbia. Youngin is known as a leading member of a new generation of Vancouver artists. He works in two- and three-dimensional materials, often creating works from recycled materials. Many of his works focus on indigeneity and issues of identity. Brian Youngin's father moved to Canada from Switzerland, and his mother was from the Danazan Nation from interior British Columbia. After they married, the government took away his mother's First Nation status. Youngin grew up in Fort St. John. Sadly, his parents died in a fire when he was young, and he was raised by his aunt. Youngin moved to Vancouver after high school, where he went to the Emily Carr Institute of Art and Design. The themes that Young intends to explore in his art are museology, indigenous identity, and the commodification of culture. Youngin's work makes connections between his First Nations ancestry, Western art history, and the global economy. His works play on the way art has been historically displayed and how this reflects society. He comments on consumerism and how it is an extension of Western culture. With all of this in mind, he finds ways to comment on the marginalization of Indigenous people throughout history and into the present day. One of Youngin's most notable work shows was in 1997, where he created several wall drawings that explored the stereotypes of Indigenous people in BC. He began creating his prototypes for new understanding in 1998, and they intrigued several art journalists and critics. These prototypes were sculptural masks created from dismantled Nike Air Jordan sneakers. Youngin reassembled them to resemble Northwest Coast indigenous masks. In British Columbia, imagery of Northwest Coast First Nations have been commercialized and mythologized into the branding of the province itself. Indigenous imagery has been woven into public culture in a way that takes away the original importance and symbolism of said imagery. It is this likening of Northwest Coast masks to Nike sneakers that creates a comment on the inappropriate transformation of this imagery into products in the wheel of consumerism. In 2000, Youngin created Shapeshifter. This was the first of three large-scale whale skeletons constructed out of white plastic lawn chairs and suspended from the ceiling of the gallery, in a direct comparison to the whale suspended from the ceiling in the New York Natural History Museum. The idea of the captive whale drew a parallel to the situation of the First Nations community, who is at once othered and fetishized by mainstream culture. In the same way that society preserves a whale skeleton, a museum will preserve indigenous artifacts, thereby implying an extinction and a refusal to acknowledge indigenous culture as one that is alive and coexisting in mainstream society. In 2004, Youngin installed Court, a life-size replica of a basketball court made of sweatshop sewing machine tables in the exhibition space Triple Candy in New York. This piece spoke to child labor and unfair work treatment, as well as the overbearing fascination with sports culture. Youngin has risen as one of Canada's most prolific contemporary artists. He won the prestigious Sobe Award in 2002, And in 2012, Youngin's prototypes for new understandings and one of his whale skeletons represented Vancouver at the Shanghai Biennial. He is also the first living Indigenous artist to exhibit at the Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian in Washington, D.C. Youngin is known for reappropriating items in his art. His process is a comment in itself as to the appropriation of other cultures' important imagery and symbolism. He recycles things to create new ones. Can you find anything in your house that you could recycle into a new piece of art? Remember to tag us and see you next week.